up guys, Joey here of Yugatech and we all know that Samsung just launched the Samsung Galaxy A50s this month and I think it's safe to say that based on our review, they made a lot of good changes from the OG Galaxy A50. Both of those phones are definite crowd favorites for this year but let's see if it can take on another self-made crowd favorite, the flagship killer, the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Starting with design, the Galaxy A50s has what Samsung calls a glass stick back with a triple rear camera set up with an LED flash placed on the corner. The unit we have here comes with a prism-like pattern that Samsung likes to call a 3D prism design. Meanwhile, the Mi 90 Pro sports a 3D curved real glass back in this cool glacier blue color but they also have carbon black and pearl white if you want those colors. The triple rear camera setup with that gorgeous holographic accented telephoto lens is placed in the center of the back. In front, the A50s has that U-shaped notch that houses a 32 megapixel selfie camera. For the Mi 90 Pro, you get a true all-screen display thanks to a pop-up selfie camera. Moving on to the sides, four buttons and ports. Both devices' power and volume buttons can be found on the right. On the left, for the A50s, you'll find the dual SIM card tray with a dedicated slot for a micro SD card. On top, for the A50s, a noise-canceling mic for speakerphone. While for the Mi 90 Pro, a headphone jack, noise-canceling mic, and the pop-up selfie camera. At the bottom of both devices, you can find the USB. USB-C port, loudspeaker, main microphone for calls, and a headphone jack for the A50s. The SIM card tray for the Mi 90 Pro is also located here at the bottom. So overall, for design, I actually personally like the Mi 90 Pro more because of its all-screen display. But I also do appreciate the prism-like effect at the back of the A50s. Both phones feel solid and premium, but for me, personally, it's the Mi 90 Pro. But then again, design is subjective, so you guys can decide for yourselves which one looks and feels better. Now let's move on to the Display. The Galaxy A50s gets a 6.4-inch Super AMOLED Infinity U panel with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 while the Mi 90 Pro gets a 6.39-inch Super AMOLED panel as well also with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 plus Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection. Both displays offer a solid viewing experience thanks to their AMOLED panels, deep blacks, and vivid colors, crisp details from the 1080p resolution, and they get sufficiently bright under direct sunlight. So while both displays honestly look good, for me the not does make a big difference. I usually don't mind a notch, but if I had the choice of notch or no notch, I choose the latter. So because of that, the Mi 90 Pro wins again thanks to the all-screen display, but only very slightly, mind you. Now let's talk about performance. The A50s is powered by the Samsung Exynos 9611 chipset and 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM with 64 or 128 gigabytes of internal storage. On the other hand, the Mi 90 Pro is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset and 6 gigabytes of RAM plus 64 or 128 gigabytes of internal storage. The A50s is capable of handling most of the tasks thrown at it. You can still play heavy games, but let's be honest. The Mi 90 Pro still seals the deal when it comes to gaming and just overall performance in general. As you can see in our benchmark scores, there's just no question. The A50s is a good phone, but this is one category where the Mi 90 Pro wins by a landslide. In no universe will the Exynos 9611 come close to the performance of a Snapdragon 855. For battery, both phones support a 4000 mAh cell, with the A50s supporting 15 watt fast charging and the Mi 90 Pro supporting Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 Plus. In our standard video loop test, the A50s got a total of 13 hours and 14 minutes of playback while the Mi 90 Pro got a whopping 27 hours. Yes, that's a big gap. But when it comes to day-to-day -day usage, both devices can last a whole day, maybe even more, so it balances out. But if you're a heavy user, this might change. Still, both phones have good battery life. For biometrics and security, both have in-display fingerprint scanners and face recognition. While the A50s did fix the fingerprint scanner problem from the A50, it's much faster now. The Mi 90 Pro's fingerprint scanner is still faster. And for face recognition, I think the A50s deserves the win here because for the Mi 90 Pro, you have to swipe up first before the pop-up camera arises and the screen unlocks and that just adds more time. Moving on to the rest of software, the A50s runs one UI on top of Android 9 Pie. On the other hand, for the Mi 90 Pro, we get MIUI 10 on top of Android 9 Pie as well. Now, one UI has less bloatware, has native dark mode, and it's easier to use one-handed. But MIUI, on the other hand, arguably looks cleaner and is more user-friendly to a certain extent. So for software, it's really a game of preference. Now let's move on to the cameras. At the back, the A50s has a 48 megapixel main 
sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 5 megapixel depth sensor. Meanwhile, up in the notch area, you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera. For the Mi 90 Pro, we get a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 main sensor, 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens. The pop up camera is a 20 megapixel selfie shooter. Let's take a look at the sample photos. Here are some rear camera sample photos. At first glance, you can already see the difference. One of the problems of the A50s is when shooting, it struggles to lock focus sometimes, which is evident in these shots. Unlike the Mi 90 Pro, which doesn't have this problem, there's sharpness all throughout, the colors are accurate, and even if you shoot against the light, the subject is still there, indicating wider dynamic range. For the ultra-wide cameras though, the A50s stands out. The colors pop out more where the Mi 90 Pro's shots are more on the natural, more muted side, and in this second set of photos, it's apparent that shots from the A50s take on a cooler, more bluish look. For selfies, over here, the A50s makes AJ's skin tone and hair color have a more warm undertone, while for the Mi 90 Pro, the color of her shirt is more accurate and her skin tone and hair are a bit more natural and realistic looking. For portrait mode or live focus mode for Samsung, the A50s kinda struggles when it comes to subject background separation, and as you can see, the subject comes out looking a little bit soft. The Mi 90 Pro's subject background separation, on the other hand, is really good. It's clean and colors stand out. And for portrait selfies, colors are way different. Again, the Mi 90 Pro is able to make the shot look more natural, but nonetheless, subject background separation of both devices here are good. For night mode, I hate to say this, but the A50s sucks here. Yes, it does work, but when you put it side by side with the Mi 90 Pro's shot, it's not as effective. For videos, the A50s can record up to 4K at 30 FPS for both the front and rear cameras. Well, for the Mi 90 Pro, you can shoot video in 4K at 60 FPS, but for the rear camera only. Check out these samples. Overall, for the cameras, both devices have features unique to each of them. But when it comes down to overall photo quality, the Mi 90 Pro takes the win here. Photos are sharper, more detailed, the colors are more natural, and the experience of taking the photos is better because there isn't a focusing problem like with the A50s. Now before we wrap this up, let's talk about price. The Samsung Galaxy A50s is priced at 18,990 pesos. For the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro, the 64 gig storage variant is priced at 18,990 pesos pesos as well, while the 128GB storage variant is priced at 20490 pesos. For this price point, honestly, neither phone is bad at all. If you're a Samsung fan and you're looking to upgrade your old A-series or J-series phone to something from this year, then the A50s might be your best bet if you're not going for an S or Note flagship. But if you want more, an all-screen display, a bigger battery, better cameras, and top-notch flagship performance, then the Mi 90 Pro is definitely the way to go. So so that's it for this comparison review guys. Let us know in the comments down below, are you team Galaxy A50s or team Mi 90 Pro? And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey and I'll see you guys in the next one.